this is the company's list um you can like like for example for atlassian you can see i have one alert already at kotak has i think 3 months of notice period right so how you manage those 3 month notice period ask for this well so it basically pastes whatever i was having Um, as that's what the experience is it will fetch what the technologies you have worked upon hey guys shyam this side and welcome to concept and coding and today we have piyush with us hey welcome piyush to the channel man hey thank you so much shyam thank you so much for having me yeah thank you for coming and uh, just to start uh, i have already gone through your linkedin profile so i know about you but for other engineers could you please little bit elaborate uh, brief introduction about yourself so that we all uh, uh, like to whom we are listening to okay sure yeah so i am pyush sharma i did my btech in computer science engineering from punjab engineering college chandigarh and after that i got my internship in american express um, joined as a full time in the same um, after american express i switched to amazon as an sd1 after amazon um so in like 2023 uh, i guess so due to recession i was impacted there at amazon and then i switched to kotak mahindra bank mm-hmm. and now i am working as a software developer at microsoft yeah congratulations Basically this. could you please take us through from your amazon uh, to the existing microsoft uh, you have cleared right so its preparation journey could you please take us through that yeah, i think it was the same journey in case of amazon also um so the thing is um the first thing is like you want to apply to a company so you, like the thing is you must know which companies you would like to apply for i mean for me there are two types of companies there are like some companies i'd like to be a part of like i have them on my bucket list for example like amazon was on my bucket list like microsoft was on my bucket list so i have created a list of all those companies like which i know or i have heard have like um, good engineering good work life balance or like uh, overall they look fine so i have created a list of those companies um i went on to their job portal or like on linkedin on both sides i have created job alerts for those companies okay so so whenever an opening comes for example like i'm looking for sd2 opening so all those uh, openings i get into my gmail only okay. i i have created a separate mail for that just where these mails come and for all the other companies um i usually prefer like these four uh, places like one is linkedin um second is wellfound um third is insta hire and fourth is nokri nokri like i haven't used much but mostly these four i have uh, gone through um so yeah so here i have created my profile um the same like one on linkedin um so and then there i apply so could you like if you have in handy like can you show mm-hmm. that uh, your list and the portal and how you just set a alert so that might be helpful for someone oh, okay Uh, wait, I, I will share my screen. This is the company's list. Um, you can the, like these are the this okay. is the list that I have created for myself. Um, other than that, um, you can go to LinkedIn, and uh, you can go to jobs here for for the alert part. I'm saying, um, here is preferences. You have job alerts here. Okay. so um like for example for atlassian you can see i have one alert already wow. alert frequency is daily and it gives an email and notification also wow. um so yeah so basically what you can do is you can go here you can search for software engineer and you can go to a company let's say okay. oracle um experience level um i mean i generally uh, keep okay. it before okay. direct yeah all of them i keep as of now and set alert okay so now you have alert and you can manage the alert frequency on i mean you can manage the alert frequency here <laughs> so, um i was having yeah, um th- this is one way you can do it on linkedin 
Um, you can also go to the individual portals of the companies. I mean, like I have this handy, so you can go to this uh, career page and some of them are having the, uh, like the, there is a button called set alerts, okay, which okay. you can open. Now, the second thing is like, you need to apply when yeah. the, um, when the opening comes So um, either you can apply directly, but um, generally what I do is I ask for FL. I mean, because like, um, because I have a lot of people connected. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, I generally have someone from a company from which I can ask for FL or some friend. Um, one thing which I would like to add here is that I use this extension. Um, the extension name is, um, I think the name is text blaze, T E X T B L text blaze. Text blaze. Okay. 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 So they, yeah, this is kind of, you can say, um, this is a, the key value pair. So like I have like slash ask for referral as the key mm -hmm. and this is what I have uh, as the value. So let's say I go to your chat, I type slash ask for oh, sorry um ask for referral so it basically it pastes whatever i was having Got um it. as the value so like uh, i have created these templates you can um whenever you want to ask for referral you can just um uh, like type it yeah. and just okay. ask for it so it's just like you don't yeah. have to remember the, it's just like you put a prompt and uh, yeah. you have all the text ready and you just fill up uh, the things sometimes so well, this is also one thing which you can see that um, you can go to linkedin and you can uh, search for words for oh, example yeah. um, think of it this way someone who's hiring is having a high chance of having the keyword we are hiring in its um what do we call it headline mm -hmm. so if we search for we are hiring and from we'll there also to uh, many posts will get yeah yeah this person is hiring this is okay hiring. got it got it, got yeah. it. so you can connect with them and yes. send them the text since you're applying for i think uh, from july and now you have uh, joined in one month so i would say that around five six months you are actively applying right and preparing is this correct right five six months so uh, uh, to you how yeah. is the market for other engineers who are looking for is the market is open or is still very tight like how is the opportunities you are seeing in different companies so what's your opinion on that um so like how i have seen it is generally um the people who are in sg2 or sg3 levels um um for them the openings are there Mm -hmm. in the companies um the issue is coming for the people who are like about that like just uh, about to join or like um don't have experiences something like that um uh, for them i think uh, it is difficult the, for the uh, newcomers now i think like now in last one month what i am seeing is th there are openings for sg ones also but um, previously i think for sg tools i don't think there is much of an issue um i was able to see openings from a lot of companies okay. in the even in the list which i have made for myself Got it. and other than that also yeah now let's come yeah. to that preparation part okay um uh, you are also full time employee right so how you are managing your time with the preparation and what's your preparation strategy if you go one level more deeper into preparation like what topics how from where how much time you spend so that one and how you are managing those preparation with your uh work okay um so for this basically the thing is till evening i do my work like till seven you can say mostly um i do my work and after that i sit with my parents and um i have my dinner after that i have the night time to um to learn also to apply also to what not everything like that so uh, in case of sd1 the strategy was like um just do dsa in my case um where i did that uh, from youtube only um okay. um yeah 
from youtube i saw dp series and graf series which all are there um other than that um on lead code uh, there are two sections one is um, blind 75 questions mm -hmm. and one is top interview questions so once i think um you are able to complete them then then you are good okay um uh, uh, obviously you have to keep um doing uh, other questions also but um, those two things i think they cover most of the important questions okay. which are there um in case of sd ones it is this uh, uh, the behavioral question there is one youtube channel by the name dan croiter okay um um for dsa i have mostly gone through like uh, take you forward only okay um uh, th these two uh, uh, obviously others also are there maybe some uh, video of some other youtuber but mostly these two i remember okay. wow. um so um for sd1 this uh, i did um in case of sd2 preparation so there comes the design part also so we have low level design and high level design mm -hmm. so for low level design i have taken your subscription on youtube actually mm -hmm. um so uh, for low level design i did that for high level design there is um there is this uh, uh, there is a book from alex zoo which is system design and review it is having two volumes okay. uh, purple and green color yeah like hc verma basically purple and green color yeah, two volumes are there so that book i have completed okay those two books got it now there is a come part the filtering part like you are applying 100 times but your resume is not shortlisting right many engineers do face this issue have you done anything in your resume part any format which you are following or changes you have made in your resume uh, could you please uh, uh, tell about this i can show you my resume can you yeah, see it's visible. this yeah it's visible man yeah so basically the thing is like like you are applying on to um, some job portal mm -hmm. now basically two things will happen um, there is some software that will take that resume and will try to fetch things out of it mm -hmm. basically it will fetch what the experiences it will fetch what the technologies you have worked upon mm -hmm. it will try to fetch which college you are from what is your cgpa all this uh, a software will try to fetch and the second part what it will do is it will try to match it with their job opening that whether this resume fits our job opening or not correct right these two things will happen so first thing in so that uh, the software is able to fetch things correctly um one should keep their resume as simple as possible um the ats friendly basically we call it ats friendly resume okay. generally people have their pictures in it generally there are two column resumes two column basically is having um half of it is here and half of the resume is divided in two parts well, correct so right so, so those resumes i personally don't prefer them because um the, we don't know how the software is fetching them mm -hmm. um th there is one very famous resume known as jake's resume mm -hmm. which uh, which is having a very good score this is not that resume this is that a tweaked one um but there is one jake's resume which people use um that is ats friendly Body. now the second thing is the second thing is to this resume should map to the job opening right so my guess like i am i am mostly focused on back end so uh, i know which all technologies are required for back end engineering right um if yeah if, if you don't know you can like just uh, go to chat gpt or there is one more thing which people do um generally scrape out the job openings of a lot of companies and create a cloud map of it mm -hmm. like frequency map you can say if aws comes more like work on aws and write a little lesson so yeah so these things you can do you can add the technologies used uh, be below every project below every company um you have worked on and also in the skills section you can add what all you know just mm -hmm. for just for you can say the 
matching part got it. thanks thanks a lot for sharing the resume part also uh so that and also one more thing before uh, i say that uh, i'm done from my side i know that kotak has i think 3 months of notice period right so yeah. how you manage those 3 month notice period uh, when other company hr says that we want to hire as soon as possible immediate hires so how you able um, to uh, convince your hr so i to be honest like um i had a good um a good conversation with my manager mm-hmm. uh, um i was able to do uh, I, i have done my work so last year i got over achiever rating actually in kotak so my manager was happy with me um and i honestly like i just talked to him that this is um 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 three month notice period too much um probably then like um do you, are you okay with uh, reducing it um if like uh, some day um i want to say so he told me like yeah he also knows like three months notice period is too much so in my case it was very like smooth to be honest awesome um, man one thumbs up yeah. for your manager previous manager man yeah. thanks a lot man okay and thank uh-huh. you again for joining uh see you bye yeah